Soaring food prices can cause shock in the grocery checkout aisle. That got us thinking about the impact when it comes to feeding students in Winnipeg's largest school division. Community reporter Matthew Bryan Shorting shows us how R.B. Russell High School is coping. Every day, R.B. Russell serves 70 breakfasts for free. Up to 120 students eat lunch for $2.50. The school has a food budget and relies on the Children's Nutrition Grant. Within, they have a full-service cafe and a culinary arts program. Michael Lindbergh, one of the instructors, has concerns about the prices of food. You're having to think about, uh, you know, whether or not you're bringing those expensive cuts into the building. You're, 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 when you're looking at the menu, you're really looking at, well, I don't know if you've seen the price of romaine in the, in, in the stores, doubled in price over the year, you know, so are we able to offer fresh salads? You know, you're, you're seeing, you know, what my fear is that all the heart healthy, nutritious foods are going up in price and the more affordable things are the ready to eat, uh, full of preservatives foods that are gonna be, uh, you know, the choice now because it's affordable. We actually have a food budget where a lot of other places don't. They're, they're running just strictly off the grants they receive uh, and they're probably getting half as much stuff as they, they did in the past because of the, the rising cost of food. Our budget's kind of starting to really dissipate pretty quick at this point. Um, you know, we're, we're seeing the almost food doubling at this point at, at this stage of the game. So, you know, you can just imagine what we're seeing every day, um, you know, we need to have our food on the table for our students, for them to be, you know, uh, functional students every single day. And uh, we, we don't, in our area, you know, some of, sometimes our students, the only food they eat is from our school here itself. So to have a nutritious breakfast and a lunch is super important for them to, to succeed in school. Lindbergh continues to search around for the lowest prices and hopes for a food budget increase. He notices that children who used to eat at home now rely on the breakfast and food programs. He says the need is far reaching. Matthew Bryan Shorting, CBC News, Winnipeg.